I agree absolutely with what you just said, David. In fact, so does, uh, I think, Dave Chilia uh, on, on the YouTube channel saying that there's a need for a cultural change. Uh, and it begs the question, what we're trying to change, therefore, is the driver behaviour and the, the, the people, the human behaviour, far more than, than being able to assume technology will, will support us. And that's not quite true because, of course, one of the, the things that has made a big difference in, in uh, developed, developed countries like the UK has been the implementation of black boxes. Uh, and, it, and so that so you can monitor and, and incentivize incentivize good behavior. So it's a change in the business model to a certain extent that's linked to connectivity, which is my kind of current mantra. Uh, and, and therefore, do you think that uh, those kind of tools are gonna have more impact and are gonna make the difference in, in the decade around the world uh, rather than some of the other uh, mechanisms? Is that a question for me? <laughs> so. yeah, well, yeah, I suppose so. Yes, um, yes, up to a point. I mean, I, I, I still, I, I'm, uh, it's sometimes um, uh, I, I, the world, the weird world I live in, where I'm dealing with crash test standards in Latin America. So it's like a discussion 20 years ago in Europe, mm. where we're just trying to get minimum crash worthiness in the right place. And that's sort of been happening. So that, that's good progress. Um, I'm also slightly cautious about. Um, any anything that suggests we're going to fix all of this by fixing human behavior, because that really is mission impossible. Mm. Human behavior constantly veers off in different directions, and any technology, anything you anything you introduce, it, it, human humans have this capacity to sort of um, take it to an extreme and all the rest of it. What we actually need to do is try. And this is the essence of the safe system approach: is is encourage both in the way we manage roads and road design and vehicles to minimize the consequences of human error rather than trying to, to fix it. Mm. And so, uh, but I agree with you that things like uh, black box recorders and all of those things, they all help uh, uh, in, create an environment where road users, both inside and outside the vehicle maybe, uh, and other, other measures too, will help them sort of stick to the basic rules. Mm. And really that, you know, that's, that's essential. But uh, my own personal um, uh, sense of this is that if you look at the whole history of road safety and road injury prevention over the last 30, 40 years, there's been a steady shift in progress away from reliance exclusively on behavioral towards hard wiring in infrastructure and vehicles, systems that are fail safe. And I still think that's the direction we need to go.